mycosis fungoids, also known as Elibert Barzine syndrome or granuloma fungoids, is the most common form of cutaneous T cell lymphoma. It generally affects the skin, but may progress internally over time. Symptoms include rash, tumors, skin lesions, and itchy skin. While the cause remains unclear, most cases are not genetic or hereditary. Most cases are in people over 20 years of age, and it is more common in men than women. Treatment options include sunlight exposure, ultraviolet light, topical steroids, chemotherapy, and radiation. History Mycosis fungoids was first described in 1806 by French dermatologist Jean Louis Marc Libert. The name mycosis fungoids is very misleading. Euro it loosely means mushroom like fungal disease. The disease, however, is not a fungal infection but rather a type of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It was so named because Elibert described the skin tumors of a severe case as having a mushroom-like appearance. Epidemiology, it is rare for the disease to appear before age 20, and it appears to be noticeably more common in males than females, especially over the age of 50, where the incidence of the disease does increase. The average age of onset is between 45 and 55 years of age for patients with patch and plaque disease only, but is over 60 for patients who present with tumors, erythroderma or a leukemic form. Origins and causes The cause of mycosis fungoids is unknown, but it is not believed to be hereditary or genetic in the vast majority of cases. One incident has been reported of a possible genetic link. It is not contagious. The disease is an unusual expression of CD4 T cells, a part of the immune system. These T cells are skin associated, meaning that they biochemically and biologically are most related to the skin, in a dynamic manner. Mycosis fungoids is the most common type of cutaneous T cell lymphoma, but there are many other types of CTCL that have nothing to do with mycosis fungoids, and these disorders are treated differently. Symptoms, diagnosis, and stages. Typical visible symptoms include rash like patches, tumors, or lesions. Itching is common, perhaps in 20% of patients, and is not universal. Diagnosis is sometimes difficult because the early phases of the disease often resemble eczema or even psoriasis. As with any serious disease, it is advisable to pursue the opinion of a medical professional if a case is suspected. Diagnosis is generally accomplished through a skin biopsy. Several biopsies are recommended, to be more certain of the diagnosis. The diagnosis is made through a combination of the clinical picture and examination, and is confirmed by biopsy. To stage the disease, various tests may be ordered, to assess nodes, blood and internal organs, but most patients present with disease apparently confined to the skin, as patches and plaques. Traditionally, mycosis fungoids has been divided into three stages, promycotic, mycotic and tumorous. The promycotic stage clinically presents as an erythematous, itchy, scaly lesion. Microscopic appearance is non-diagnostic and represented by chronic non-specific dermatitis associated with psoriasiform changes in epidermis. In the mycotic stage, infiltrative plaques appear and biopsy shows a polymorphous inflammatory infiltrate in the dermis that contains small numbers of frankly atypical lymphoid cells. These cells may line up individually along the epidermal basal layer. The latter finding if unaccompanied by spongiosis is highly suggestive of mycosis fungoids. In tumorous stage, dense infiltrate of medium-sized lymphocytes with cerebroid nuclei expands the dermis. Treatments, mycosis fungoids can be treated in a variety of ways. If treatment is successful the disease can go into a non-progressing state with clinically clear examination and various tests. This is called remission. It can last indefinitely. Treatments may also cause disease not to progress, while still present, and this is called stable disease. It may last indefinitely but is a more serious situation. Disease may also progress to involve nodes, blood and internal organs, or transform into a higher grade lymphoma. Common treatments include simple sunlight, ultraviolet light, topical steroids, topical and systemic chemotherapies, local superficial radiotherapy, the histone destylase inhibitor vorinostat, 
total skin electron beam radiation, photophoresis in systemic therapies or biological therapies. Treatments are often used in combination. Selection of treatments typically depends on patient preference and access to therapies, as well as recommendations by physicians, the stage of the disease, established resistance to prior therapies, allergies of the patient, clinical evidence of a positive benefit, risk ratio, and so on. It is incurable, but many patients experience prolonged periods of disease control. Quality of life is a major objective, in addition to cure, and maximizing periods of remission or stable disease, while minimizing treatments and toxicities, are two central concerns in clinical care. In 2010, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration granted orphan drug designation for naloxone lotion, a topical opioid receptor competitive antagonist used as a treatment for pruritus and cutaneous T cell lymphoma. Experimental treatments include Resimunia registered trademark or ADMDT 390 bis FV. UCHT1, which is an anti T cell immunotoxin in a phase 2 clinical trial. See also, cutaneous T cell lymphoma, pagetoid reticulosis, promycotic phase, ZAR copyright ZARIS disease, secondary cutaneous CD30 plus large cell lymphoma, and GI-centric lymphoma, list of cutaneous conditions, references. Further reading, Knowles Daniel M. Neoplastic Hematopathology. Lippincott Williams Wilkins. PA 1957. ISBN A 0-683-30246-9A, Wang Street, Janet J. E., Jaff E. S., Wilson W. H. Mycosis Fungoids and Zar Copyright Zari Syndrome. Lancet 371, 945-57 doi. 10.1016 per second 0140-6736, 08, 60420-1. PMIDA 18342689R, Duvic M, FOSS FM. Mycosis Fungoids, Pathophysiology and Emerging Therapies. Seminontal 34, S21A08 DOI, 10.1053 slash J Seminontal. 2007.11.006. PMIDA 18086343. Olson E., Von Derry D., Pimpinelli N., Ilem Zar, Kim Y., Nobler R., Zakim H., Duvik M., Estrach T., Lamberg S., Wood G., Dummer R., Rankia, Berg G., Hield P., Patelko M., Bernango M. G., Sturry W., Laro Kell, Trautinger F. Whitaker S. ISCL EORTC. Revisions to the Staging and Classification of Mycosis Fungoids and Cesare Syndrome, a proposal of the International Society for Cutaneous Lymphomas and the Cutaneous Lymphoma Task Force of the European Organization of Research and Treatment of Cancer. Blood 110, 1713 a Euro 22 doi, 10.1182 blood 2007-03-055749. PMIDA 17540844A, External Links, Dermatlas 197, The Lymphoma Information Network, Cutaneous T-Cell Lymphomas, The Doctor's Doctor, Cutaneous Lymphoma Foundation, ClinicalTrials.gov NCT 0061128 ADMD T390 BIS FV, UCHT1, Immunotoxin Therapy for Patients with Cutaneous T-Cell Lymphoma, clinicaltrials.gov NCT 0106431 A single-agent phase 2 study of romadepsin in the treatment of cutaneous T-cell lymphoma.